Hi everyone, let's learn the third type of biopsy, excisional biopsy. The first two types, aspiration biopsy and incisional biopsy we have already learned. So first see the definition of excisional biopsy. When an entire lump or suspicious area is removed, the procedure is called excisional biopsy. As the word excise is similar with the word entire. So in this way you will remember that in excisional biopsy the entire lump is removed. In incisional biopsy as the name shows in. So in, in, so in incisional biopsy you have to take the inside portion of the lion, the inside representative portion of the lion. You take the lion in this way. So you only take this area of the lion inside portion of the lion and in aspiration biopsy as the name shows aspirate so the sample must be a fluid that you will aspirate excisional biopsy indications should be uh, excisional biopsy should be employed when with a small lion less than one centimeter or the lion on clinical examine appears benign when complete excision with a margin of normal tissue is possible without mutilation. Mutilation means damaging. The technique or procedure of excisional biopsy. An excisional biopsy implies to complete removal of the lion. As the lion is small, so you can easily remove the complete lion. The premeter of normal tissue 2 to 3 mm surrounding the lion is included with the specimen. You also have to take the normal tissue with the lion. This is the pictorial view of the procedure. This is the small lion and this is the normal tissue. So you also have to take the normal tissue with the lion. And this is the removal of whole lion and then stitch the operation side. These are the references of these slides and if you want these slides you can get it in the description box. Thank you for watching my video and if you are new at my channel then please do subscribe my channel. Thank you.